we made this for Trump, as I said. <laughs> uh, no, it, I will say this. You know, the, I, I, I see this movie as not a trans film and, and not, you know, it's really about a kid figuring out and it's really about the parents figuring out and, and letting somebody, as, you know, Judy says in the movie, to embrace children as they are is, is no small act, actually. It's a big deal. Um, but while we were making the film, the world around us was reminding us why it's important mm -hmm. to, to um, you know, teach ourselves, mm -hmm. it be out of our comfort zone, learn right. phrases, learn under, you know, understand you know how this younger generation is is coming of age because they're more open, mm -hmm. and you just see you know the whole thing of just trying to de dehumanize. You know, this is the time of so much dehumanizing by the Trump administration, and so the bathroom ball, bathroom law, which is a long-standing way to say like you're not a person, you don't deserve, you know, the military ban, all that stuff. It was just the chaos. It was just creating chaos to distract. So, I mean, I just, I felt the influences, which is different than what the movie is talking about. I think the movie is really this universal sort of uh, community and family grappling with, with, with raising a kid and relating to each other. Mm -hmm. But I felt the influences of this administration, all, you know, as, as we all do. So many people are, are just on a daily under attack. So, it, But you bring up an interesting point, like, like it, the, this, the, precision of making it something other that these attacks have mm -hmm. and and it is we are you know somewhat accidentally combating that kind of head on in that the perspective of this film and I think the thing that does so brilliantly from, from what the story Daniel wrote is presented as just like any other hurdle in raising right. a child right. it, it happens to be this mm -hmm. um, but, but it could have been anything else. could have been anything yeah. I mean at a certain level obviously yeah. everything's unique in its own way but you know, Judy could have said, he's a terrific artist, and why don't you use that in your essays? And while that sounds like a very positive thing, it's no less a labeling, it's no less a dictating who this child is at a certain level. And, and in that regard, there's just a thousand ways to look at it, and the conversations are very similar, even though they're about something very different for each household. And I, yeah, and I would say our, our AD, Mike, who's amazing, um, you know, uh, New York, born and raised in Queens, a parent, you know, of kids, and he really wanted to do this movie because he just had kids that had been bullied or, or dealt with stuff mm -hmm. in school, and I, I love that it resonated from the script early on that you could plug in any kind of urge to protect or sort of how primal it gets when kids are involved and you, you don't know what to do. I remembered you saying it's like flying blind parenting, and so I think there's, you don't, there, aren't, there isn't a rule book. There isn't really a right way to do it, but it, you know, has a big yeah. influence. And, you know, and there's a lot of kind of abstract thought and a lot, of, it's a lot of language that we're exploring in the movie. But really, it's about these people just, as you say, kind of facing this reality of having a child who maybe is um, not exactly like most other people and and that it, it, it can it can be um, really unnerving <laughs> because, you know, we all want our kids to be safe. I mean, and that's, mm -hmm. that's all right. But, but, you know, sometimes it does, you know, sometimes it's easy to have a line, a political perspective mm -hmm. and occasionally mm -hmm. it will, um, it'll challenge your, your primal yes. instincts. Mm -hmm. And, and that's all right, you know, and I think, um, it, you know, there's, there's often a pressure to, you know, be ideal in one way, you know, and, and, um, and we're a little bit split at times, you know, or a little conflicted or, or scared. So, and that's what we're putting light to here. I love that, that slippery slope of our politics, what we can say, and then that personal when you actually have to put into practice things. And I think that's a lot less talked about, you know. Mm -hmm.